chat GPT. Everybody's talking about it, I think. I'm pretty sure most people are talking about it. If you don't know what it is, uh, it's this tool by OpenAI uh, that essentially allows you to talk to it. Uh, it's an AI system that, I mean, you can see the example right here. Basically, you can ask it to explain things to you. You can ask it questions, uh, and it'll give you basically uh, informational responses based on its knowledge. And you can even feed it information and have it give you responses based on the information. Um, so for example, like if you give it a prompt, you say, hey, write me a, a short story or write me an essay based on like these parameters, it'll do it. Think of it kind of like a, a function in code where you give it some inputs, it gives you some output. The more inputs you give it, uh, the more information it has, uh, potentially the better the output will be. In any event, let's get to the point of this video, and that is that you can use this tool, which currently is free, to help you learn anything. For this example, I'm going to have it teach us some algorithms. Alright, so over here on Code Wars, uh, this is a website that has a ton of different algorithms at different languages and different skill levels. <laughs> Alright, what are we, like 0, 0 and 4 right now? Stupid, 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 can't figure it out. All right, well, here we were thinking that chat GPT could solve all of our algorithmic problems. Honestly, I think it's an input issue. Uh, I think if we gave it better input, let me give you an example. Um, let's say, uh, write a function in JavaScript that takes an array of strings and returns uh, a new array with any strings that are an uh, All right, so here's a function that takes an array of strings, returns a new array containing only the anagrams from the input array. So you get get anagrams, words, anagram map, new map. Oh, that's cool that it uses map. Uh, and then it says four const word of words, so now it's iterating over the words array, saying sorted words, word split, sort join. So sort the words so they can easily compare it to other words. Uh, the sorted word is already in the map, and the original word to the, yeah, add the original word to the array of anagrams. So if, anagram map has the sorted word uh, then anagram map get sorted word push the word else if the sorted word is not in the map create a new array with the original word and add it to the map so then here we do an anagram map set sorted word map oh it even gives an example so I don't even have to create one so here we have cat act foo bar baz zap and the anagrams will be out of this one, cat, act, baz, and zab. Uh, it takes out foo and bar because they're not anagrams of each other. Can it solve algorithms? Yes. Does it need r really good informational input? Yes. That's pretty cool. So you you ask it to help you solve an algorithm, right, up top here. And then it uses some certain code that you don't necessarily understand. So you say, hey, can you expand on that? And it says, yeah, here's an explanation. Then you say, well, I still don't quite understand it can you expand on it further and it says yeah let me break it down for you even more basically can chat gpt help you learn to code absolutely basically as long as you give it a good amount of information then you can expect usually to get back some solid info uh so if i was studying i would like anything anything we'll just do one last example here what's a popular topic so web components right right and a study outline for learning web components. Now that you have this outline, you go plug this into your notes and you just start at the very beginning and you say, define and give the purpose of web components in a simple, easy way to understand. And we'll be nice and we'll say please. That way, whenever AI takes over, we'll be like the guy that, that gave out candy to the the person at the office that goes postal. You take that and you, you plug that into your notes for this first section and then you go to the second one and you ask it, okay, explain the advantages of using web components and it'll go through and it'll explain the advantages of each and if you if there's anything in there that you don't fully understand, then you just say expand on that and you take all this stuff and you plug it into your notes 
and you don't need a teacher anymore, right? Like, yes, could you have gone and read, like, read the documentation? And yeah, you can still do that, right? You can go to MDN, you can read the documentation for web components, but you can also, while you're reading the documentation, if you run into problems and you have questions, then you just go to the AI and say, hey, there's just one thing, can you explain to me? And it'll probably save you a ton of time from having to go out and find answers to that stuff on your own, especially if that means finding like a tutor or someone that you have to pay for those answers. Uh, so I can definitely see students using this tool to help them learn honestly anything, but here is an example, web development, uh, and then specifically web components. So anyway, that's it. I gotta run, I gotta go do some stuff, but um, thanks for hanging out with me while I just sat here and messed around with this. I'll, I'll probably do some more videos like this. I think this tool is super fun. Thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed the content, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.